This week, we're going to learn how to exploit the county files, the shape files that are in MetPy, and pull out counties by name or state to make more region-specific plots. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. A while back, there was a question on Stack Overflow about plotting counties that were shaded by some data field. Could be number of rainy days or whatever you'd like to shade by, but on a county-by-county county basis. This is a pretty popular activity for geographical data and census data, but it's less often done in meteorology. So this week, I want to show you how to do that. Now we're going to need a database or a file to correlate the FIPS code with the county name and what state it's in. That's not in MetPy, but luckily user KJ Healy on GitHub has this CSV file and it's got FIPS codes, county names, and states. Now I'm not sure how exhaustive this is, but it seems to do pretty well in my map plotting. So let's go to the notebook and we're going to have quite a few imports here. I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, cartapy.crs as ccrs, numpy. These are just sort of my standard imports when I'm going to make a map. cartapy.feature as cfeature. And then we're going to import cartapy.io.shapereader as shape reader, pandas as pd, and from metpy.cbook we're going to import git test data. Now we need to make sure that you have the files that we're going to need. We're going to use the 1 to 500,000 US counties. We need the shape file, the shx, and the dbf. So we're going to call git test data on all of these you'll see a message if it's downloading them, or you may already have them in your local cache. Okay, so we're going to get the shape file, then we're going to get the SHX and the DBF. And I already have them, so we're ready to go. Now I wanna look at the records that are in this file. So I'm gonna start with a loop for rec in shape reader dot reader and we'll call get test data on our shape file dot records print rec and I don't want to print all of them so I'm just going to put a break so this will run once so this will open the shape file and give us the first record out of that, we can see the polygon, and we can see there's some metadata there. They're called attributes. And if we just look at those, we see in the GOID attribute, we have the FIPS code, in this case, 19107. So now we need to read our FIPS data in. We're going to use read CSV, FIPS, county name dot text. And I want to use the FIPS as the index column, so it's easy to index into. So if we look at the head of that data frame, we see our FIPS code is the index, name, and state. So here, for example, we had a FIPS code of 19107. So if I call FIPS.loc 19107, we get the same record returned. Now the records aren't guaranteed to all have identical attributes, so there's no built-in way with the shapefile reader for us to sort or do queries on them. So what I'm going to do is make a dictionary of dictionaries, where the first key is the state, and the second key is the county, and the final value is the record. That way I can get all of the counties in a state, or I can look for a specific county in a state. So it's just a nice convenient data structure without having to create some objects. I'm going to create an empty dictionary of county shapes. 
and we're going to use the same for loop here. The FIPS code is the integer representation of the record attributes geo ID. And we don't necessarily know that we're going to have a record for every FIPS code, so I'm going to use a try except here. I'm going to look up the FIPS code. And we're going to get the state. So that's the state name that we're in. We will do the same thing with the county. And that just has the column name of name. The state dictionary. So the dictionary that contains all of the counties in a state is going to be county shape dot get. All right, let's make that plural. It does have more than one thing in it. And we're going to use dot get because we can either get the current state dictionary for the state name that this record is, or we'll return empty if we don't have any records for that state yet. We're going to add the county name key with the value of rec. And then finally, county shapes, state name, is going to be the state dict. So this is effectively appending a county if we already have records for that state, or creating a new dictionary and putting that first county in it. On a key error, meaning we don't have a FIPS record for that, I'm going to say cannot find FIPS, FIPS code. And this will take just a second to run. So it's going through all of the records. And let's see, county shapes. So as you can see, it's taking you know a few seconds to run there, but not too long. There's a handful of FIPS that we're not finding, mostly with the 72 prefix. All right, so let's go on for now and see what we can find out here. And I think what I want to do is make a plot of Colorado. So Unidata is in Boulder, and we want to make a plot of all the counties in Colorado. I'm going to create a figure using plot.figure, axis, I'm going to use the add subplot method. One row, one column, first plot. Projection, we'll use the Lambert conformal projection using tab completion there. All right. And then for name of the county and record in county shapes for the state of Colorado, Dot items. Remember, that's a dictionary, so we're going to use dot items to index into it. The key will be assigned to name, which is the name of the county, and the value, which is the actual uh, GIS record, will be assigned to rec. AX dot add geometries. And we're going to add rec dot geometry. The coordinate reference system is plat Cree because these are in lat lawn. Edge color, we want that to be black. And then we'll set an extent that covers Colorado, which is something like minus 110 to minus 100 and 37 to 41 latitude. So this should index into our county shapes, get Colorado, index through Colorado to get every county in Colorado, and plot it. And now we have the outline of Colorado with every county outlined within it. That's great, but what if I want to 
put just one county on the map. I want to show where an event was in a state, let's say, and give people a, a geographic idea of where we are. Well, we can copy the same map, but then instead of iterating through, we're going to go into Colorado, and we're going to get Boulder County. And that's going to be our record, because we're getting key, key, returning a value. AX add geometries, rec dot geometry, edge color black. That's great. Let's add line width of a half and face color of tab red. And then just because one county plotted out in space isn't necessarily that useful for giving people a geographic context. Let's put the states on the map. So now we're just getting one record. We're using the whole US states map, and we see we've got Colorado and the surrounding states with Boulder County highlighted in red there. So now you can take information that you've got that may be on a county by county basis and color those counties, or you can just create these type of here's where we are maps for your events. I hope that you found this useful, and I'll see you on next week's Map Pie Monday.